Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm finally able to share with you that I finally got my hands on the M1 Mac Mini. So I'm going to unbox this bad boy and then do the setup. This might be so childish but I still love opening new products, especially Apple products. You might pay a premium but man the packaging is excellent. The Mac Mini is actually way bigger than I expected, it's really not that mini. I bought this in Hong Kong which is why I had to wait this long and the spec I went for is 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. The retail price in Hong Kong was a roughly 900 pounds, but I actually got an additional 15% discount since I knew someone with a discount code. So in total, I paid 765 pounds. Had I bought this spec in the UK, it would have cost about 1,250. So by waiting two months and by buying in Hong Kong, I saved 485 pounds which I think is pretty worth it. I went for 16 gigs of RAM or unified memory as we call it now because I am future proofing myself a little bit. The extra storage can't hurt since I'm gonna be doing some video editing now. So let's have a look at the ports. We have power, ethernet, two USB-C, one HDMI port, two USB-A and a headphone jack. I'm so excited to be using a Mac again. I won't go into it in this video, but to cut a long story short, I grew up as a Windows user but switched to being a Mac user back in 2009 when I went to university. In 2018 I went back to Windows by building my own PC but I really quickly regretted that decision as I ended up really hating using Windows. So I knew I was going to be going back to the Mac, I just wasn't sure when. The M1 Macs became the perfect excuse. I'll go into this in more detail in another video as I think it's quite a good topic to talk about. So remember to like and subscribe to get notified for when I post that video. The first thing I'm going to do is download and install Notion. Not only is it my note taking app of choice, but it's also a great project management tool. I manage all my YouTube content in here, setting schedules and seeing which videos I have scripts ready to record. I'm actually half tempted to introduce this to the company I'm working for, as it might streamline our workflow as a team a lot better. I also bought a new mirrorless camera to step up my videos. I was still learning the settings so apologies if the videos are a little bit noisy and messed up. Hopefully by the next video I will have figured out what the best settings are for my lighting situation. I'm editing this video in Final Cut Pro seeing as Apple are offering an extended 3 month trial. I'll probably end up buying it but might as well take advantage of the free trial first. It's really quite different compared to editing videos on my iPad. It's definitely a step up and I can't wait to explore what Final Cut has to offer. So I've had a little play with the Mac. I'm definitely going to spend a lot more time with it. It is going to be my main machine. Um, and at the moment it is running pretty flawlessly, as you'd expect from a brand new computer. So I'm going to run it, take it through its paces and see how it goes. I'm going to be installing some Windows software just to see how things run through emulation using um, Rosetta 2. I'm going to be doing plenty of follow-up videos and I really want to play with um, the feature sidecar to really utilize my iPad Pro and the Mac at the same time. I need a PDF writer, so I don't know if the sort of stock or default PDF reader writer for macOS is going to cut it, but I'm going to give it a go and, um, and just see if I need to buy a new one. This is a very short video and it's basically just to say that I've actually got the Mac in my hands now and I'm going to be using it, so really, really exciting. And if you want to be notified for the next videos, please remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.